Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna be opening up and installing the cheapest one by crank set you can get on the market right now. It's from AliExpress, $31 shipped if you're in the US. So let's open it up and take a look at what we have. Here's the actual chain ring. I went with a 36 tooth this time. I don't know, I like how it's glossy here and then like matte over here. Gosh, I can't believe this is only $31 shipped with the chain ring. The only thing it doesn't have is the bottom bracket. All right, now that we have this opened up, let's go ahead over to the bike and get it cleaned up and prepared to do this installation. Okay, as you can see, I've already partially stole parts from this bike, so it's missing, missing its crank set. This is just some gasoline I had from the lawnmower. I guess I should give you an update on it because some of you might remember that I unstuck one of these sides by boiling it in water and doing a bunch of different stuff. It was pretty cool that I was able to get it unstuck and actually usable, but unfortunately after a while it started clicking again, so maybe it's not worth trying to restore these if they're totally seized after all. Anyway, another thing you notice is that I'm not using my 3D printed bottom bracket tool that I was using last time because eventually it broke. So I ended up buying this one. I'll put the link down in the description. It seems to be pretty good. It was fairly cheap. So this side is reverse threaded. Means it's a uh, righty loosey. <laughs> so here was the one that we, we fixed on that other episode of the show. It's still turning nice and freely. So I'm not really sure why it was making sound. I'm not sure why it was making noise, but it didn't sound that great, so. Okay, here's the bottom bracket I'm going to install. I don't know where I got it. I got it from some old bike, I guess. That's why I like to keep all these old parts. You never know when you're gonna use them. It's 110 millimeters wide, which I suppose will be fine for this application. You know, when you do the one by, in my opinion, they're fairly forgiving on uh, directional this way and that way on the chain. I mean, to an extent. Anyway, we'll see if it works. That's one way to find out. So simply grease it and stick it in there. And so once again, this will be the uh, reverse thread on this side. It does not come with any kind of crank bolts. So I'm gonna have to dig around and see if I can find some. Probably a torque wrench would be good for this time, but I don't got one, so I just go by feel. It looks like this chain ring doesn't fit this uh, crank set if you want to put it on the back side, which is kind of unusual, I think, but it's very close. I could probably get a file out and make it fit, but I believe it should also be okay on the front side, so we'll just probably do that. Just eyeballing it, that's a pretty bad chain line, actually. <sighs> All right, I suppose this wouldn't be an episode of Hack and Ride Bikes if we didn't file something. I think I can take just like half a millimeter down on each one of these and it should fit fine. So in case you're wondering, I did have to go back probably about seven or eight times to get this to fit right. It finally does fit right. And just so you know, I didn't just kind of randomly do it. I tried to make each one equally spaced in this dimension at around 1.6, it's hard to see, 1.7 millimeters on each one. Just like that. 
Let's see, so today is Tuesday, and Saturday I'm meeting up with Larry from Your Own Adventure YouTube channel. He does all kinds of like stuff, mostly mountain bike related, but a little bit of everything. I'll definitely have his uh, details in the description below if you want to go check out his channel. It's pretty good. Anyway, I'm actually going to give him this bike to do whatever he wants with it, basically. I expect that he'll put some own modifications of his own on or his own touches on it, make some videos. And the idea is that he'll move it on to another YouTuber at some point, and uh, then they, they can do the same. Now, one reason that I feel kind of okay doing that is because I've actually made some money on this bike just from YouTube uh, revenue. I don't know how much at the moment, but it's easily paid for the bike, so I don't mind giving it away uh, for the channel, for the community, whatever. If you're interested in how much I made on this bike, I could do a video on that too. I don't know if this is the right audience for that, but if you would like to know that, I uh, you know if people will let me know about that in the comments, then sure. I'll make a video talking about how much I earned on YouTube from this bike. Okay, my chain is done with its gasoline bath. Looks really good. Using gasoline has been a new experiment of mine. I don't know if it's a good idea, but I figured it's a cheap way to clean the chain. And sure enough, it's really clean after just hanging out in there for a while. Negative side though is the whole area when I take it out. You know, I put a lid on it, but when I take it out, it kind of stinks like gasoline. And there we go. All right. So this is the bike going to its new home, your own adventure channel, Lair well, over formally, there. Formally known. What? Formally known as your own adventure. Why? Why did you change it? No, I might always And worst. it's hunting season, so hopefully we don't get shot today. Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. You can already head over to Bikenstein channel. He's already posted his first video on this bike. We uploaded them at the same time. Anyway, head on over there. I'll have a link directly to that video in the description. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.